Claire Novak for Bloodhorse.com. This is a preview of the Saratoga Select Sale brought to you by TaylorMade. Yesterday, a horse named Cross Traffic won the Whitney. Three years ago, you could have purchased that horse here for $300,000. 152 yearlings are cataloged to this year's sale, which will be Monday and Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Humphrey S. Finney Sales Pavilion. Yesterday, I had a chance to catch up with Mark Taylor and get his thoughts about how he expects the sale to play out. So, Mark, last year you guys were the top consigner at this sale and a very successful season for you. What are the types of horses that you would look at to try and bring here, maybe a younger or an, a horse that's more precocious early on? Well, I, I think that a big part of what the consigner's job is is trying to help the, the breeder of the horse, the owner of the horse, get it in the right part of the sale, whether it's the Saratoga sale versus the September sale, October, whatever the case may be. But with Saratoga, really what this sale is all about is really good confirmation. Um, you know, you need to have bulletproof confirmation that it's very hard for people to pick on. You need to have a very good, loose, long, you know, um, fluid walk uh, because people have lots of time to watch them walk and pick them apart. Um, if you're selling a horse in book two or three in, in September, it's much more rushed. The pace is faster. You don't need to hold up to quite as much scrutiny as you do here. Mm -hmm. And then you need enough pedigree to add quality to the page where, um, you know, it's going to attract the top buyers. Now, you and I were talking earlier about how you have some really nice New York breads here. And the select sale and the New York bread sale, they're both continue to evolve. So tell me why you would put a New York bread in this sale. This must be some exceptional individuals and talk a little bit about them. Well, we've got three nice New York bread fillies in the main Saratoga select sale this year. We've got um, beautiful filly by City Zip. We've got a very nice Malibu Moon filly that's uh, out of a grade one winner, and we've got a nice mine shaft filly. So, you know, what we were thinking there is that these horses were a cut above on physical, they had enough pedigree, and we would not only expose them to all the New York market, but we would also expose them to a wider market that might not be here for the New York sale. So it was an interesting call. You know, um, these horses could have gone to the other sale and maybe been the big fish there. But uh, we wanted to make sure that a very wide audience and not just, you know, people that were interested in racing New York breads got to see them. That's a good experiment. We'll have to see how they do going through the sale and maybe more people will pick up on that type of idea for this. Um, another thing that has happened recently at TaylorMade is the passing of Unbridled Song. And I know those horses will start to become more rare. So talk about the Unbridled Songs that you have in here and just your thoughts with this sale coming up. Well, you know, Unbridled Song has been, um, you know, arguably the best thing that ever happened to TaylorMade. You know, he's, um, he, he's had a huge influence on the breed. He's had a huge influence on the commercial marketplace. And he's had a huge influence on TaylorMade and everybody else really that ever touched Unbridled Song. Lots of breeders made lots of money. Lots of people won lots of big races. He was really a win-win stallion for everybody. And um, so, you know, we're, we're um, you know, emotional about him losing him because he was part of the family. But uh, the good news is he's got some very nice horses in the pipeline, and, and that's, um, you know, you can see that on display here. Um, we've got two very nice fillies, um, you know, uh, uh, that just both are very typical. They're just big, leggy, beautiful fillies that uh, look like they can uh, run two turns, but they're going to be precocious enough. Um, and we've got two colts that are very nice uh, also. It's funny, you know, with Unbridled Song, we've got one gray, one bay, and two chestnuts. Um, but with Unbridled Song, it doesn't matter what color they are, what size they are, they all just have this intangible quality that I think he stamps his horses with that, uh, you know, attract buyers, and, and they, win, they win the big races. So that's what everybody wants to do. Interesting. Well, it's, this sale always seems to be kind of hard to get a read on, but I think people really do consider it a boutique sale, and a lot of owners in town for the races will come out here, you know, maybe have a couple of drinks, bid on some horses. Right. But um, just going into this sale, what's your feed on the current market and your thoughts and hopes for what's coming up on Monday and Tuesday? Well, with the contracting foal crop that we have and the numbers of foals being produced has been shrinking the last few years. And I think we're down to a much more manageable number that is we've got supply and demand in balance now. And I think that buyers are looking at it. They really can't afford to skip any yearling sales. You know, it used to be, oh, I'll just wait and there'll be plenty in September. Now I think it's more of the, of the mindset of, hey, I better be in July. I better be in Saratoga. I'm definitely going to September. And then, you know, if I don't get all my orders filled, I'm probably going to be in October. So, um, you know, I think this sale is 
um, a sale that everybody has to have circled on their calendar because you know a lot of runners come out of here and you would hate to have looked back and say you know I never even saw that horse so I'm expecting good things I think between the stock market what's going on there uh, the economy is showing some signs of coming back to life and um, and I think the supply and demand is back in balance and you've got very good confirmation and a select boutique catalog so I think all those ingredients are just the recipe for success all righty, Mark Taylor of Taylor Made Sales, and we'll have to see how their yearlings do going through the ring, but a very busy scene behind me, so that's always a good sign. The Saratoga Select Sale is a boutique event where big-time buyers and the best consigners in the industry are bringing the top horses in search of the next stakes champions. Yesterday, I had a chance to talk to Boyd Browning of Faze Tipton about how he expects the market to play off, coming off of a strong July sale at Faze Tipton in Kentucky. Boy, the select sale coming up and a lot of people in town to look at some yearlings. What are you anticipating with the current climate of the market right now? Well, very encouraged and optimistic. Uh, we had a very good July sale a few weeks ago in Kentucky. The two-year-old sales were good this spring. Uh, we've had a good group of horses on the grounds, uh, lots of activity both yesterday and today. And feedback we've gotten from both buyers and consigners has been positive about the quality of horses. So we're looking forward to getting started tomorrow night, or Monday night. Now the book here is a little bit smaller this uh, this time around. Is that by design, or are you seeing a little lack of less horses with the full crop being smaller? What's the thing there? You know, I think we don't artificially try to establish what the number of horses is going to be. We we identify what we think are the horses that fit into the Saratoga sale. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, I think we're seeing a few less horses uh, because of the reduced supply. I think most of the supply is the numbers reduction occurred at the lower quality. But we're still seeing a few less horses being and produced. And you also see a few less people inclined to sell horses. Some, when the market was extraordinarily strong, some breeders that traditionally bred to race would also sell a few horses because the market was so good. So you're seeing a few less of the top horses being exposed to the marketplace this year. And, and the one thing we always try to do is maintain our quality. The numbers will take care of themselves over time. We want to make sure we emphasize the quality and feel very, very good about the group of horses we've got on the grounds this year. I talk about this sale in particular because it's a kind of a unique beast. It's like a boutique sale where you have some owners who are in town for the races, maybe come out buy a couple horses. Last year, this sale was actually down when the Universal Trends were up. So can you talk about what you guys analyzed coming out of there, why you thought that was, and just how maybe you hope for some repair? Yeah, well, actually, the, the, the number of horses that we sell in this sale makes it really tough from a statistical evaluation because mm -hmm. it's a small sale. Uh, last year, we had the either misfortune or the... We had a very strong sale in 2011, which bucked all the trends for the other yearling sales in 2011. So right. we posted fairly dramatic increases in 2011. And I think if you would kind of quote unquote normalize average 2011 and 2012, that would have been a pretty consistent trend with the other yearling sales. But we had a very strong sale in 2011. Had a little disappointment last year, particularly on the first night and the average price and so forth. Uh, but had a solid rebound on the second night. You know, I just think you have to be very careful when you're selling, you know, 150 horses in a catalog and you're going to sell 100 to 110 of them. I'm drawing too big a comparison from a, a, just a statistical analysis because the sample is not big enough mm -hmm. considering we're going to sell 5,000, 6,000 yearlings sure. throughout the year. So sure. uh, we, we think we'll have a very strong marketplace uh, this weekend and uh, it'll be a good sale. Saratoga has been a great place to buy and sell horses for 100 years and we, th we think that's going to continue for another 100. One quick question about, I was just wondering about pin hookers. How much do you see those factoring into this sale? Do you think a lot of horses will go on to the two-year-old sales just given the way that the market is right now? You know, I think we've seen a, a, some change in the composition of the two-year-old sales where there's uh, been some scale back at the very top end and what they're willing to spend. So I wouldn't expect to see a dramatic number of horses be pin hooked out of this sale into the two-year-old sales, but there will certainly be some. I don't know if the number is going to be 10 or 15 or or 20, but you know, there's pin hookers are seeking quality horses, uh, and we've certainly got quality horses on on offer here Monday and Tuesday night. And you know, there's some pin hookers on the grounds that are looking already, and I think we'll see you know certainly some activity and and, and welcome that. All right, Boy Browning at Fazy Tipton, looking forward to a hopefully good sale on Monday and Tuesday night. We've had a chance to preview some exceptionally strong individuals at this sale, including Hip 104. He's a lemon drop kid colt from the Gainesway consignment who has a lovely walk and he's been out quite a bit for the buyers. We also like Hip number 69 from Bluegrass Thoroughbreds. John Stewart gave us a heads up about her and when we got to the sale, it is true, she's a lovely individual. There are others like the Adina Springs consignment. They have four horses here with extremely strong pedigrees, including Hip 34, who's a half to Royal Delta, and that's about as strong of a pedigree as you can get. 
Of course, there are many others coming into this sale who may not have made as much buzz in the early days, but you never know what can happen when two competitive bidders hook up with each other in search of the next big graded stakes winner. Because as we know here in Saratoga, the next cross traffic could be right around the corner. For Bloodhorse.com, I'm Claire Novak. Thanks for watching and enjoy our continued coverage of the Saratoga Select Sale.